We all know that this time of year can be a little slow for businesses and events, and that's why a group of creatives are kicking off the first Pittsburgh Makers Brew Tour. I'm joined by the owner of Swat Shop. We have Sarah Watkins and welcoming back our friend Evan Morgan Newfer of Evanly Bakes. So great to have you guys here. Hi, thanks, thanks for, so having for having us. And we're going to meet some more friends and get the beer side of things in just a minute. <laughs> but first, will you talk to us about how this all got started? Yeah, absolutely. So um, I've seen Sarah around at a few events uh, when we first moved up here. And we happened to be at a beer release at Acclamation where she did the can artwork for it. And I was kind of talking to her. I was like, hey, what do we do in January and February when our markets aren't open? Right. And uh, then the idea just kind of blossomed. And I knew that I had about four or five other maker friends that I'd made throughout uh, my markets that were on board to kind of do this brewery tour. That's amazing. So Sarah, tell me a little bit about what you offer and what you what you brought here today. So these bookends are my pieces of art. Some of them are prints in the frames and then Mr. Rogers over there oh. is an original. I brought our Pittsburgh series here today. Um, I do other pieces of art as well. Uh, but this is what we bring, funky, creative pop art here to the city of Pittsburgh. And I know a little bit about what you, <laughs> you made that delicious rum cake last, you were, last time you were here. But what, what are you going to sell at the market? Yeah, absolutely. So I'll be doing uh, my uh, gourmet brownies and blondies. Flavors will change based off of what's popular, what's in season. And then I'll also be offering my cake jars, which is kind of like a half pint or a full pint of oh cake and um, frosting in a jar form. So those flavors will change based off of the beers that are offered at those breweries. Um, so the flavors kind of correspond. Uh, this looks like an emergency kit. Yeah. Like, if you've had a rough week, get one of these. You'll be fine. <laughs> but really, what a genius idea of you all coming together to kind of come up with this idea because it is so slow in the winter months. And I told you, you give me one beer and I will shop. Yeah, absolutely. I will shop. So it's so smart. <laughs> it's so smart. And the goal was is to make sure that all seven makers do something different. So, you know, Killer Crafts does crochet, lip balms. Um, we have Adorn, or Always Adorn who does all types of different jewelry, whether it's pet jewelry or these. something for your ears. Um, we have Leah DeLion Art. She does sticker work. Uh, Hannah Brown with Puppy Paws Cafe does gourmet dog treats. Um, and then we have Ginny with Wax Milk Candles who does soy hand poured candles. Oh my um, where gosh. she'll actually sell these nice wooden vessels you can get them refilled um, and everything is made by our own hands so there's something for everyone kids adults everyone in between all right well I thank you both for coming on and sharing some of this I need to go to over here because I want to sip a little bit yeah, right that's absolutely. part of this all right so I'm walking <laughs> over here and we have a couple more friends they're very tall friends so you'll quickly see how short I am um, we would be remiss if we didn't mention the other side of this of course so we have Jason Yankee and acclamation of acclamation brewing and Mike Frey of two phrase brewing tell us what you brought here yeah, so um, what I brought today was um, some non alcoholic beers. We are the only brewery in Pennsylvania and for the most part all of Ohio and West Virginia. Really? Brewing non-alcoholic at this scale. So we've we've embraced the idea of non-drinkers uh, non in dry January. And mm -hmm. we, we brew for a lot of people who, who don't drink anymore or decide to mix in some non-alcoholics during their day. And we also brought some alcoholic versions of, of our beers. As you well. do both? We do both, yes. And where are you located? We're on Penn Avenue in Garfield up by Stack Brothers. That's great. Mm -hmm. And tell me about Acclamation. Yeah, so we specialize in uh, low to mid alcohol uh, beer. Um, and we like to um, partner with local artists. So this is the uh, can that Sarah did. That's fantastic. It's a Cosmo Sarah, wheat. well done. Yeah. That's amazing. So it's a wheat ale that is supposed to be reminiscent of a of a cosmopolitan, so with orange, uh, cranberry, and lime. Um, yeah, so we're in Verona, up on the hill, I like to say. Uh, That's great. Yeah. All right, can we sample any of them? I mean, Absolutely. I, of course. I think it's okay. It's Friday, <laughs> right? We got to get at least one sampled. And so tell me a little bit about the flavor profile in this one again. Yeah, so this is an easy drinking. Uh, the cosmopolitan yeah. wheat. Okay. Thanks. Easy, yeah, easy cheers. drinking cheers. Uh, cheers. wheat ale uh, with orange, uh, oh, cranberry, great. and lime. Okay, let's take a sip. Oh, that's well delicious. Mm. That's, that's amazing. Good. Thank you. Well done. Tell me about the importance of partnering with local artists and why you want to do this, because it seems to go hand in hand. It does. What so what doing. we've been doing is we uh, we turn our tap room into a local artist gallery. Uh, Sarah's our third artist. And uh, not only do we display, display their art uh, for sale, uh, we usually partner with a beer uh, label. So we've done uh, Bob Frere from Plum. We've done Joe Woes from Oakmont, uh, and she's our third artist. This is really, it's great, and I love this idea, because you guys are makers at your core, mm -hmm. too. Correct. Right. So you get the, the craft of it all. Yes. And what about the uh, non-alcoholic beer market? Because I feel like we're hearing more and more about yeah, this. this. The fastest growing segment of the beer industry is non-alcoholic, so yeah, it's something that um, we're starting to embrace because people are asking for it, but also it's something we want to make sure that when people walk into our tap room that we have something for everyone, including 
maybe something that doesn't have alcohol in it, but still tastes like beer. Can I try one of yeah, them? Yeah, we have. Which so one I would you recommend today, starting with? I have, a, I have a porter style. We have a West Coast IPA, and a um, this is a this is a beer we made with the Babes on Bikes group in town. This is a black and blue, uh, black currant and blueberry sour. Oh, I can't wait to try that's this. That's a good one. Yeah, that's I, I just very fresh. Don't break a nail. You won't. <laughs> <laughs> so I open it up. There, there we go. go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and the goal with us was to make non-alcoholic, but also make make sure that it still tastes like you don't. Beer. You're not missing anything no. from the flavor profile. That's right. That's it's right. delicious. There's no, there's no alcohol. Thank you so much for you're coming welcome. on Thanks today. For Cheers us. to you Cheers. guys Cheers. and to our friends Sarah and Evan too. Thanks, the Pittsburgh Evan. Makers Thanks, Brew Sarah. Tour kicks off next Tuesday at Voodoo Brewing Company on the North Shore. To learn more about the different dates and locations of the Brew Tour, you can head to our website for more for more information. And coming up.